Hello everyone, welcome back to FX021. So in the last video we have already have the HDA for my terrain and sign flying ship uh, prepared and also my Niagara HB JSON file. So now in this video let's dive inside Unreal Engine and uh, yeah let's get started. Uh, so here is uh, Unreal Engine file, you can download it from the Epic Games and make sure before you start it make sure you have your houdini engine installed and make sure you have your hp like niagara uh, plugin installed so you can go to the file i mean edit and the plugins and make sure you have houdini engine checked and uh, houdini niagara checked and uh, restart your engine um, so yeah, you make sure you download Houdini Engine for the Unreal Engine 5 and Houdini Niagara, make sure you install it. Uh, if you can't find it in the plugin, make uh, you are not installed, uh, you, you haven't downloaded it yet. So go online and download it and uh, you can find it here and then restart your engine and uh, it will appear, okay? So now what I have in uh, this thing here, uh, this is uh, our ship and uh, control spacebar you can have your uh, deck open and I create a folder for the HDA so uh, just go to your HDA and um, drag and drop here so you will have it and once you have your HDA uh, uh, in a rail you can just drag your HDA in the scene. So let's drag and drop. So you will see a Houdini icon here and then it's start cooking. And it will take some time depends on your PC uh, because uh, now it's important because uh, this is very uh, high density. Like there are a lot of polygon on it, okay? And you can see my version, they already got the textures on it. And probably yours are, pretty, uh, are white, like uh, there's no texture on it. So uh, I will show you uh, how to automatically assign texture on it. So in Unreal Engine 5, we already have our Quixel bridge uh, built inside Unreal, so it's pretty convenient. We can go to the content here, click so bridge, and it will pop up a window. You can go to the 3D asset and the drag and drop the asset that it's inside the array, okay? What you want here is the surface. You can download some uh, texture. So maybe the metal here, uh, just find the one you like and uh, download and drag and drop inside array, okay? So I already have uh, some of mine prepared. So it's the scratch uh, metal surface here, the one I use on my uh, on my on my ship here, as you can see here. Okay, so uh, what we do here is right click and uh, you see copy reference here. Just copy reference and go back to your Houdini here. And you can see here, we got a real material here, okay? This is the inner uh, inner structure in our ship. And we got our UV on it. And what you do is just type in real, it will have a real material here, okay? And the name of, by default, you can see the name is a real material, okay? But the in Unreal Engine, we, if you double click, you can see this part here. And this is the instance of our material. So we're going to change our, because you can see here, it said material instance. And this is a material. If it's a material, you cannot change the par parameters outside. So you can turn a material in, uh, uh, turn a material to material instance by create by clicking on the create material instance here, okay? And this is a material instance. So 
for that uh, by default in Houdini it's called the name is called Unreal Material you can change it to Unreal Material instance here so it will find the instance material okay and for the string here you just uh, paste uh, control B to paste so copy reference uh, copy reference and uh, paste it here and then once you uh, find all the material you like you can create for each part so that's what I do here the red notes and once you make change to your HDA uh, make sure you go to here right click save note type okay this will save your uh, changes and inside Unreal inside Unreal you can go to your uh, uh, Sunfan Shep here and recook and rebuild it and then it will have the material sign okay uh, that's how you do for the ship material let's delete that and now for the terrain here uh, if you remember we have these uh, red uh, red and green rocks scattered on the on the terrain but we don't want to use these okay these are just proxies for us to uh, see the scale of the rock and uh, we are not gonna use it in a real engine so like before we got our uh, mega scan you can just go to the content creek soap bridge and they got tons of rocks there okay uh, nature you know they got lot of rocks maybe you can use this one and make sure you just tweak the color of the uh, texture to fit in the scene okay so once you download these rocks uh, you can see if we go to the terrain HDA we have these two windows you can just search search for the rocks you have used uh, you download and uh, drag and drop here okay and then this will be replaced and for the terrain we got texture as uh, because the scene is dark but you you can't see it but uh, we do have texture on it uh, it's not that obvious uh, but we have texture I will show you the terrain texture here so if you remember uh, we got tons of mask right okay we have this uh, mask we generate here uh, we have sub subtract each mask and uh, uh, combine here we got rock one rock two rock three layers here and that's what we use inside the uh, a real engine okay so you might think uh, the material here is complex but it's uh, pretty simple uh, basically because in Houdini we create three layers uh, rock one rock two and rock three and what we hit you can see here these are the three layers for the normals rock one rock two rock three and these three are for the base color okay and if we separate them uh, just look at the top part here so we have the landscape uh, coordinates here so that we can adjust the scale of our texture so this is uh, you can create like a scalar parameter here it's just like the bind export uh, bind values in uh, in Houdini so you can multiply the coordinates to a certain value so you can control the uh, scale of your texture and this is the texture I find on the quicksaw and uh, the color here is just some uh, black color because my scene is uh, my scene you see it's pretty dark here so I just multiply a uh, color to adjust the base color here okay you you don't need this if if you don't want to adjust the color so that's what I do and you have the layer blend it's landscape uh, layer blend here this is the magic here so if you click on this you can see they have these uh, layers you can click on the plus icon here and 
expand this, you can see the layer name. So what's the layer name? It's it's the one we create in Houdini. Okay, it's the rock one here, and we got rock two, and we also have uh, rock three. Okay, rock one, rock two, rock three. So these are the uh, layer name, and uh, Unreal Engine will recognize this. So uh, make sure you just create three of them because we have three layers. So if we look at the one I already down, you can see layer name rock one, layer two rock, uh, la uh, layer two rock two, layer three rock three. So these will have the alpha uh, mask information in the in here, and just plug the result for each texture you want to use here, and plug into the base color, and also same for the normal. This is the rock one normal, rock two normal, and rock three normal. And you can control the strength of the normal by multiplying a constant value and plug into the layer blend here, rock one, rock two, rock three. And then plug into the normal here. And you can create a custom value for the specular and the roughness. So that's the material. Okay. And the uh, once you got your texture for the terrain set and texture for the sign fan shape set, uh, basically the majority of the thing is done. What we left is the smoke and the particle particle here, which we will cover in the next video. So thanks for watching.